This is it, the last battle of this three-part series where we play Apex Legends the board game. Will Mubins climb through this gauntlet and in victory, or will Apex Legends enthusiast Ben take the crown? If you haven't yet, please check out our other games in this series. Apex Legends the board game brings to the tabletop the thrills and kills from the video game of the same name. Blast Cannon Unplugged sent us his prototype and draft rules to try, and we've had a blast so far with this game. This box comes with four legends, as well as everything you need for a two to four player game. We have a prototype version with in-progress rules, and if you're encouraged by what you see here, check out the Kickstarter campaign ending soon. Don't miss out. Now, back to the game. Move in. Ben. I've come here to take you down. Good luck. Mubin has had success here in the Outlands. He's a veteran of tabletop gaming, but will that be enough against Apex Legends veteran and enthusiast Ben? My name is Ben and I'm a huge Apex Legends fan and I am super excited to play another game of Apex Legends, the board game. Hey everyone, Mubin back again for our final game in the series of Apex Legends, the board game. In this unique eliminations match, the squad that has each of the legends die once is defeated. We pre-set up, we've got our loadouts, played enough of these games, we're getting right to it this yeah. time. I specifically have chosen the loadout to just get in your face. So did I! Oh, this is gonna be great. I'm not too worried about fighting him. I've played him before. I'm ready to absolutely wreck face. Based on the other games we've seen, I think we're in for it. You guessed it, it's a barn burner. Do the honors, let's see who goes first. That one. Blue! I get to go first. So far, all the games that I've played, I've mostly used Wraith. Wraith is really tricksy. She can move things everywhere. She's just all around kind of a sneaky, sneaky witch. Wraith has an R99 with a rare stabilizer and an L-Star. Wraith also has a rare body armor and packed two frag grenades, a syringe, a med kit, and shield battery. That is a lot of healing. Up close and personal and mid-range weaponry, because that's where she wants to be. And this is now my second game where I'll be playing with Gibraltar. Gibraltar is a tank. He's there to soak up your damage and block attacks. Gibraltar, I actually have a wingman, which is almost a sniper-like pistol and an alternator. Gibraltar also has a frag and thermite grenade, a shield cell and a med kit, equal parts defense and offense. My legends are Bangalore and Bloodhound. Bloodhound is a technological tracker, really good at finding where an enemy is and then just zeroing in on them. Bloodhound has the EVA-8 auto shotgun with a rare shotgun bolt, improving its damage. They also have an RE-45 auto pistol, a great pistol and a pinch, further improved with a common stabilizer to help with accuracy. Bloodhound is equipped with a rare helmet that is able to negate headshot aim cards of 50 or less. Bangalore is all about area control. Throw down an artillery barrage and then she's going to throw smoke and plan diversions. Bangalore has chosen to run around with a Prowler SMG and a Volt SMG with rare stabilizer. My guns have no higher range than three. It is my intention to get in Mubin's face. Now that we've no initiative order, that means we get to start dropping in. Some tricky choices here as there's some good loot up for grabs depending on what zone our two players drop their legends. You're going right there, eh? Wraith is gonna come in. Mubin has initiative and elects to keep it by going first with Wraith, also snagging an epic helmet. I'm going onto this side right here. Ooh. And I'm going to grab this shotgun bolt. Bloodhound is Ben's first pick and they get an epic shotgun bolt. My shotgun now deals plus four damage to you. Ooh. I also am going to move two, which is gonna have me just right next to the supply bin for easy lootings. For my second and last one. Yep, Gibby's Gibby. going there. And I'm gonna get a rare loot and a stabilizer for my troubles. Okay. Gibraltar scores an epic stabilizer. The rare loot ends up being something that he can't use. I'm gonna do something a little unorthodox. Ooh. I don't want that. Ooh. I'm going to drop in on the same side as Bloodhound. I don't need the shotgun bolt, and I don't really need the move too. With Bangalore in, we're ready to start the final encounter. Before we do anything. Right. The ring. The ring. Oh my God. Whoa. Pushing in all sides. Have, let's have a good game. Yep. Round one. Round Fight. one. I'm actually gonna go in with Wraith. Okay. She's going to interact with the loot crate right next to her. All right, Wraith, what you walking in with? Ooh, Add. epic and two rares. I yep. can work with that. 
Wraith loots a supply bin, and wow, that is some seriously good loot. She finds an epic knockdown shield, a rare standard stock, and a rare scope, and some energy ammo. For the second action, I'm actually gonna spend my action point to play Blink, which lets me place my legend on a space from range one to three, and I get to move an additional one after. Okay. So I'm gonna actually take her, yep. blink her down here. Okay. And then she's just gonna drop here. So Gibraltar is going to interact with the loot crate right next to him. Gibraltar interacts with the supply bin and gets an epic stock for his alternator and an epic stabilizer that he can't really use, so he drops it. He's gonna move one as part of his interact and move. Yep. And then he's going to actually just take a move two and get to the cover. The cover. And it moves to my turn. Bloodhound, they are going to first interact with this supply bin. Hopefully I get some goodies, and I kind of do. It's three rares and a common. There are two rare attachments for that RE45 and that loot for Bloodhound, as well as a sight for the EVA-8. Ben must be feeling pretty good about that. For my second action, I'm going to move two. So one, two, up to here. Bangalore is going to move one and interact with the supply bin. So we're gonna flip that over and hopefully get some goodies. So I got a epic knockdown shield and I also got a mid-range scope. It will help with my Volt because yeah. the Volt does have decent range. I'm now going to spend a free action and I'm gonna throw my Rolling Thunder down right away. Calling down the thunder, Bangalore already dropping her ultimate round one. So the Rolling Thunder takes two turns to start, so it's gonna go there. So I can throw this five spaces away from my character. And we're gonna go here. Okay. And my intention here is that I'm hoping to sort of catch you so that right you can't there. be in here and you can't loot anything in this area now. I'm going to spend my smoke screen card yep. to give me a rush. It's gonna let me go here, and then I'm gonna do my move two action and go over the wall. As before, the players are using round one to set up, and we should really see some action in round two. And that concludes round one. Oh, on to the transition phase. We go to round two. No ring damage, no cooldowns to refresh, but we get a new card each. Nice. On to blue team's turn. I'm gonna start with Wraith. Okay. She's gonna interact with loot crate one. Yep. Three rares and a common. So I get a scope mm -hmm. for the R99, and I can't take the shield battery or the shotgun stock. So those are gonna drop next to that. I will take a thermite grenade. Because it's an interactive move, she's gonna move one that way. And then for her second activation, she's gonna interact again. Oh yeah, all the loots. So it's an epic and two rares. Okay. Oh no, yes. Come on. Oh yes. Come on. That is end game level loot. You shouldn't have it in turn two. <laughs> Are you seeing this? I thought Gibraltar was gonna be the tank. Wraith is absolutely kitted out. She has all the gear, stock for the SMG, and unfortunately a sight that absolutely does nothing for me again. Gonna scooch over that way. Wraith is terrifying. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Moving done. on to Gibraltar. So first free action I'm gonna do is drop my defensive bombardment. Gibraltar, not want to be left out, launches his ultimate, and now there's rolling thunder and a defensive bombardment in the arena. <laughs> Explosions! So it kind of blocks you out on this side and forces you that way, and then that's a delay two. Excuse me, one, two, so my next turn. He's gonna go boom, boom. Okay. Gibraltar's gonna take a shot with his wingman pistol into Bloodhound. First shots of the game incoming. Two cards to draw. The gun actually has a passive, so at the end of every shoot action, I get to move one. Okay. And a 75. Both of them hit. 26 damage and the shield is gone. What an opening shot. And then I'm just gonna move back. So I'm at 34 health. And then before I end my turn, I'm gonna use my other free action. Drop a dome of protection, right okay. there. Sounds good. On to your activations, good sir. I'm gonna activate Bloodhound, and they are going to activate Beast of the Hunt. They get this fancy token. Every time I have a move two action, they gain a extra move, and when they shoot, I have a bonus as well. They will move to here. They're out of the way now, so that's my first action. I'm going to play my ability card, Hit and Run. This card is move two and shoot. And because I just activated Beast of the Hunt, they can move three and shoot. So I'm going to move them one, two, three, and then I'm gonna fire down at Wraith. I'm going to use my Eva 8 shotgun. Obviously, 
I get two by two shots. I'm actually gonna pop my Into the Void ability and as a before shoot, possibly cancel the rest of your shoot. Great response from Moobin using Into the Void. Only the first hit will count before Wraith gets out of there. Is it the first two for this one then, because it's a shotgun? Yeah. So these are my first two shots, a 75 and a 20, I believe. So you get a hit. Bloodhound hits once, dealing 11 damage to Wraith. Not much, and not what Ben was hoping, but those before shoot actions can catch you off guard. I get to move two out of line of sight, would just be there. Okay. So Bangalore is gonna go now, and she is going to move two okay. to here and then she's going to use her next action point to loot this supply drop. Let's see what we get. One epic and three common. Great I picked up a epic shield, so now I have 40 shields instead of 30, Woo. and I'm gonna drop this old shield down. I got yeah, two got syringes. It. I'm not taking the other grenade because I'm gonna take more ammo. And then I'm going to move her one out of the range of all the explosions that are about to happen. Oh, oh no! Could be a mistake. The guys forgot about Rolling Thunder. Ben, eager for action, put Bloodhound in the blast radius and they're about to feel the pain. Bomb goes off. <laughs> thunder. The roof, the roof, the roof be on fire. I take 20 damage to myself, like an idiot. Didn't position Bloodhound very well there. We'd like to point out, everyone's still learning the game, and that could be a real costly oopsies. And that concludes my turn. Ben must now be thinking of keeping Bloodhound a bit safer so he can recover. He doesn't want to give up a kill too early here. And then it rolls forward three, because it is One, rolling thunder. One, two, three. That goes delay two. And then we go to transition phase. Five. No ring damage. Cooldowns go up one. We draw a card again. Let out the beast. Turn the third. Which means we are gonna go back to blue. Defensive bombardment goes off. Round three starts with a boom, but no bang. No one is caught in Gibraltar's defensive bombardment. It's more of a zoning tool and less of a murder tool. I'm gonna go for the big risky play here. I'm gonna go there, one, so I'm behind cover. And then I'm going to throw a frag grenade right onto their head. Two cards, pray they don't scatter. Oh, okay. come on. Uh, up a level, completely misses. Grenades only hit legends on the same level, so this scatter means Bloodhound takes no damage. I'm gonna go with the wingman. It's on a 55, I got two cards. I'm gonna play Take Cover, and play the Smoke Launcher ability if available, and I'm also ignoring all half hits and headshots. The Smoke Launcher is going to land right here. Hey, there we go. So we got smoke and bubbles. Yeah. So that lasts for three turns, so one, two, three, so that goes yeah. there. Let's see if I can avoid this. So first one. It's a miss. Miss. Also a miss. Oh my gosh. Full shots miss. Bloodhound is still alive. It's all up to Wraith now. We're gonna do this again. Mm -hmm. She's gonna move. And then huck me. a grenade at you. Yep. And hopefully this time she doesn't miss. It's two cards. First one. Oh, come on. Another swing and a miss. Right, and good. she scatters up because as well. Because there's no way all of this has missed me. This is bonkers. She's gonna unload her L-Star EMG. I'm going to uh, throw Raven's Distraction. I'm going to move two with my fancy little ability. Yep. I get to move three and the shoot is canceled. Bloodhound, they're gonna go one, two, three. So I'm going to move. One. And then huck another grenade and okay. I've got another frag. Right on top of me. Right on top. Oh man. And for the love of God, don't scatter. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> so do you always count both or is it only the first one? No, you count both. So it bounces over and then bounces back onto your head. And it kills me. Deflex twice, bounce, bounce, boom. Bloodhound goes down and that's one point for Moobin and blue team. It bounced and then it bounced back. I took down Bloodhound and I have a victory point. First death in turn three. <clears throat> Onto your turn. So the first thing that happens is this explodes and nothing happens. Yep. Go back to a two round cooldown. The bubble goes away. So yep. that's gonna go on cooldown as well. I'm gonna self respawn Bloodhound right away. Yeah, Bloodhound self respawns and away we go. Bloodhound's back. I'm just gonna give them Beast of the Hunt again. They need it right now because I need to get 
into circle. So the only other uh, action I'm going to do is have them move three. So it's gonna go one, two, three. Bangalore next. She's a little pissed. The first thing I'm going to do is use a free action and drop a smoke uh, for both of uh, Bloodhound and Bangalore. So now that we're both pretty protected, goes for three rounds. So that's one, two, three. I'm going to do a move one and use item. So I'm going to throw a Hucker Grenade at Gibby. So we're gonna draw two shoot cards. So it scatters up, up. here. So, so it, it does completely nothing. misses. So I think I'm just gonna throw another grenade at you, but I'm gonna do it a different, more tactical position. Hey, okay. Throw this grenade here instead. Is Ben aiming to scatter this time on purpose? So here we go. Scatter's here. And it does. Oh my God. She literally throws it and hits the wall and just lands back on her face. Sounds about right. Down to 30 shields. Boy, howdy, these grenades are bouncier than a handful of super balls in a high school bathroom. Bangalore. That was the worst grenade throw of all time. It's not my fault. There was a wall in the way. And that's the turn. Round three ends and Moobin is in the lead with one point. Ben's legends are hurt and Team Blue is relatively unscathed. Could this be a quick game or does Ben have some tricks up his sleeve? So with that, the turn ends. And we're gonna go into the transition phase. Yep. So the ring now gets smaller. Mala. It moves so two here. One, two, three in. Yep. One, two, three in. One this way. So all that is done, our cooldowns go down by one and we draw ability cards. I am extremely low on resources. All right, so this goes away yep. and, and draw a new, a new ring. Where's this ring going, do you think? So like those that. two corners are coming in, right here. Yep. My turn. So smoke is still up, but I do, however, have a thermite grenade. So I'm just gonna drop the thermite grenade right there. It misses! It misses! Yes! Another miss with a grenade. These guys need to work on their throws. That was my first action, but I still get a move. Yep. Cause it's a use and move. I can still be in the smoke, so I can go that way. I'm going to use his charge card so I can move three. So I can go one, two, yep. three. I'm just getting in the smoke with you guys. On to Wraith. Wraith is going to move mm -hmm. and then use a grenade. Her last one, which okay. is also a thermite. Another grenade. These guys know they have guns, right? It's just the one card. Oh, come on. It still hits. It just hits me. I know. And it only hits uh, Bloodhound for 15. One, two, I'm just gonna use a regular move action. Do okay. that. It is now red turn. My So my first smoke disappears, the top one. Yep. Goes into cooldown. Bloodhound still being beast mode, going to hop up here and down to here. Shotgun to the face. I'm going to use shot color on, on Bloodhound, which allows me to count uh, half aim cards as hits. And if you have no shields, that means I can discard aim stuff, but that's not really that important to me. What really matters is I wanna make sure that I can maximize every shot that I get here. Two by two, it is a 50 plus that I need to hit. That is a hit, and that is a hit. That is a hit with a headshot. Thankfully she ignores the headshot. I hit. All of them. Ooh. Thankfully that 40 hits because the minus five is negated by the scope and I have the minus 10 from Beast of the Hunt. I do 44 damage oh. to you. 25 health left. Fantastic. Bangalore's gonna move two to here. I'm going to shoot you with my Volt. Okay. So I'm hitting on 40s. My sight gives me minus 10. Four shots and we Ooh. start at stability two. I'm going to play precision. Each hit deals an additional two damage and yep. I'm going to ignore the helmet's effect. So I am more likely to hit you with headshots. That is a hit and a headshot. Yep. That is a hit. That is a miss. Hit with a headshot. Oh. I do 35 damage to you. So, sorry, the knockdown gets popped and then I'll take the difference. Great shooting. Wraith is forced to use her knockdown shield. I have 10 wounds left. That is turn. So we're gonna go back to transition, which means we go to turn five. Now 
No one's outside the ring. Our cooldowns go down by one. Ability cards. Top of round. Smoke goes away. Bangalore is the only one I need to take down right now. Is he gonna play it safe or go in for the kill on Bangalore and close the game out? Gibby first. One, two. Yep. You're still within range of my alternator SMG. Yep. So I'm going to take it and unload into your back. But I'm also at stability three and I've got three shots. I'm going to play instinct and I'm going to ignore all half aims. And your first shot is going to be a plus 20 penalty. So you'll be hitting on 60 for the first shot. First one misses, second one hits, third one also misses. So one hit, so it's gonna do five damage, uh, seven damage, because I've got a stock. So I'm down to 23 on my shields for Bangalore. So first activation on Wraith, I'm going to move up to, as a free action, I'm gonna play behind your back. So that lets me place her adjacent to any legend that I choose within three. If it's an enemy, I deal four damage. I'm not going to an enemy though. Okay. I'm just using that to pop over here next to Gibby. Okay for her actual second activation. I'm gonna actually unload the R99 SMG into her back. I'm going to play Insight, and this means that the target can use an item. Using Insight, Ben can throw a grenade in retaliation. I wonder if this one will hit. It's gonna miss. It misses! <laughs> nope. So I've got six cards off of this, and I'm looking for 35s. Starting at stability two. One, two, three, four, five, and... Six. She doesn't have a helmet, so she's not ignoring crits. Three crits, four hits. Five damage each, six damage from the crits. So 26 total. So you've depleted my shields. Shots fired, shots landed. Bangalore is hurt and this could be over soon. And that is your turn. Bangalore's gonna go first. She's gonna just turn around yep. and be like, you shot me in the butt. Bangalore's gonna unload her Volt into Wraith. No holding back here. Bangalore turns around to shoot Wraith with her Volt SMG. I'm gonna use an before shoot called Bastion. Because they're adjacent, Wraith and Gibraltar swap spots, and he becomes the target. That's a neat trick. Bastion allows Gibraltar to switch places with Wraith to tank the hits instead. And then I'm just gonna use Skull Splitter then, and I'm gonna double the damage of my uh, headshots. Four shots on stability two. I'm not gonna get the benefit of my sight yep. because it is a range three, and I'm yep. too close. Miss, a miss, that is a hit and a crit. These two turn into a hit. Uh, two hits and a headshot, so you so take gonna, 22 damage. So you're gonna crack the shield, bring you down to 38. I'm gonna take a step back yep. and interact with these loot items and pick them up. My shield might be depleted, but I'm just gonna discard it, pick up the new one. I'm shield swapping. Grab a full shield that's sitting on the battlefield and now I'm back to full. Bangalore just picked up a new shield. It's exactly what Ben needed. And I also have a free grenade. I'm gonna shoot you with my re-45 and I'm gonna use I know where you hide. And I'm gonna say I'm shooting there and you cannot play a before shoot reaction. I can shoot you five times at stability plus one. So I'm hitting you on a 30. And then at the end of my shoot, I can move one. That is one hit, two hits, miss. And that is a miss. I got three hits total, no headshots. That does 12 damage to you. 12 damage, she's out. Ben's aggression has paid off. Wraith is down and Red is on the scoreboard. Tie game. Oh, I took out the tank. Wraith goes down. Now I can focus on Gibraltar. I have my first victory point. Oh, I get to move one as well. I'm just gonna move forward. So we move to the middle stage here. We move yep. one Transition. forward. No one is outside the ring, so no damage nope. is taken. We take our cooldowns down by one. Oh, my cooldowns are back on Gibraltar. I have my smoke launcher and rolling thunder. And we throw our last ability cards for the game. That also means it goes over to blue turn. Turn six. Turn the six. ring closes after this yep. to its final stage. First activation, I'm gonna go with Wraith. So she pops in here. Wraith re-enters the fray, but is well out of position. I'm going to burn Voidwalker to use Rush, so I can move up one there. Yep. I'm just gonna do a move two okay. to bring myself here. And then that would be her activation. I'm gonna do a free action with Gibraltar first, and it's keep out, so I get to push all adjacent enemies two spaces away, and they take six damage on collision. This causes Bloodhound and Bangalore to collide. Six damage to Bloodhound. My shields are out and I'm at 39 health. That was a free action. I still have my full two actions, but I'm gonna go 
Defensive Bombardment first. Movement drops Gibraltar's ultimate, the defensive bombardment, and places it in a way to force red team to split up. Smart play, and that could pay dividends. That's gonna be a delay two. Mm -hmm. It goes one, two. For his first action, he's gonna move back there. Another free action to drop Dome of Protection. Shields up. Gibraltar puts up his Dome of Protection, but wait, that means he'll be outside of the circle next round. Is Moobin trying to bait the other legends toward him? What is this Moobin brand of madness? What I'm gonna do is just play in and out and use an item and use my shield cell. Give me 15 shield back. Ah, uh, Moobin uses a shield cell and regains shield points. He's looking to tank his way out of this one. That is the end of my turn. Okay. Over to red turn. You know what, screw it. Let's play Bangalore first just because of the sheer lunacy of what I'm about to do. First thing I'm doing is I'm dropping my rolling barrage yep. here. So it goes on two, and I'm assuming it happens after your shield collapses. So that was my first free action. My next thing I'm going to use is Adrenaline Rush. Adrenaline Rush is a special action. You do not spend additional movement points across obstacles, and I can move three. So she is going to back up one, two, three, out of the blast. She now um, is pretty far away from people that can oh, shoot her. And then she looks at Bloodhound and says, go get him. Bloodhound is strictly going to just go straight after you. One, two, Good three, ball, into the bubble. You thought this was a bubble of protection. It's now going to be a bubble of blood. It's all guts and all glory now. Bloodhound dives at Gibraltar. I'm going to shoot my shotgun at you. So I would use gun shield. Prevents 10 damage and ignores uh, headshots on aim cards. So before you spend any before shoot actions, I'm yep. gonna play recon, and uh, it's an enhanced shoot for a legend on my team, and the enemy team cannot play before shoot reactions. I have exactly 53 health. All right, here we go. One shot, that is a headshot. Oh. That is a hit. Uh, also a headshot. Two headshots, and those hit, all hit. I take damage. 50 damage. And and you are down to three wounds left. Three health left, that's it. That is game. Massive damage from Bloodhound and Gibraltar won't be able to survive the ring damage. Mubin's gutsy play does not pay off. I did 50 damage. I have three wounds left. I cannot believe all four of those hit. That was... That was insane. They all hit, you had two crits, like <laughs> disgusting. That's it is now the end of the turn. Which means go to the, the middle. Yep. We move the ring, and the ring moves. Collapses in on us. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. Oh no. So now we go on to the next phase. Round ends, and the ring closes, and three legends are playing in the danger zone. And yup, that's what takes Gibraltar out. Red team wins. That's your second victory point. With a ring kill. With a ring kill. That happens. Yep. I can't believe that happened. You know what, Holy that is a hell of a way to end the game. What a game, what a game. Oh my goodness. I felt like I was completely outplayed at the beginning of the that, game. I had some really good draws early and Wraith's loadout was wild. That was our third and final game of Apex Legends for this series. I want to play a lot more of this. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to play more. To... This is a prototype. They're still working on it. The link is in the description. Go check it out. I'm going to be buying my own copy. I'm excited for the other legends that are going to be I coming out. I can't wait for more legends. I... Pathfinder is already confirmed to be one, and nice. he's going to have a zip line, and I want to know how that works. I know Loba is going to be in the game. I believe she's a bonus for those who pre-ordered the Kickstarter. What a way to end this. Thank you, Ben, for an amazing game. This was a blast. I can't wait to play more Apex Legends, the board game. Mubin, you were a fantastic opponent. I'm looking forward to playing many more games with you, hopefully with some new legends. I wanna see Pathfinder, I wanna see Lifeline, I wanna see what all these really cool legends can do. Thank you guys so much for being a part of us playing this amazing board game. So much fun. Thank you all for watching. Yeah. Please like, subscribe, support us through Patreon or through YouTube memberships where you can see extra goodies. As the editor, trust me, I make the goodies happen. And there's a Discord if you join. Until we see you next time, play, play on. on.
Thank you for watching, and remember to like or comment on this video if you want to see more Apex Legends. We really appreciate that Glass Cannon Unplugged wanted to work with us to show you, our fans, this prototype of Apex Legends the board game. If you are inspired to play it yourself, go to the Kickstarter campaign that is now live. If you haven't yet, make sure to check out the other games in the series that we've played. As always, if you'd like to like and subscribe, we sure would appreciate the support. Thanks again for watching. As always, this is JT McDowell saying, until the next time we see you, play on!